Well, hey, Student Life family, welcome to February. And if you haven't met me yet, my name is Jared Shingleton. And this month, I've got Jacob here with me. And we have some exciting updates uh, in regards to camp preparation. So buckle up, let's get in. First up, let's talk about the Prep Center. Uh, the full Prep Center is officially live. Now, if you visited the Prep Center previously, you're gonna want to check out the final updates. Uh, with the launch of our full Prep Center last month, each camp type is now complete with everything you need to know about preparing for camp in 2024. Uh, we've linked it right here in the newsletter just for you. So speaking of that Prep Center, one step you do not want to miss is step number two. Uh, all required forms will be available this month on step two, of the prep center. Now, here are some things we especially want to highlight. First, LifeWay's child protection training. This is your reminder that we require every adult attending camp to complete LifeWay's child protection training. Now, don't miss that this course is a specific LifeWay camps training and will be the only approved child protection training for Student Life Camp and Student Life Kids Camp this summer. Every adult coming to camp this summer must complete this training regardless of any prior training they've completed. Now listen, we know that this is one more step that you and your volunteers must complete to make it to camp. However, our number one priority is ensuring that your students have a fun and safe week at camp. So please help us get this done. Uh, the second thing that we wanna highlight is that our waiver and release forms will be going live this month. Now this is a form that every adult coming to camp and parent or guardian of a minor coming to camp must complete in order to attend camp this summer. Uh, now, in order to complete the waiver and release form, adults, parents, and guardians, they're going to need your group's Reg ID. Now, this Reg ID is a unique five-digit code that will autofill important information such as like camp location, church information, and all the other details you need to know about, uh, making the waiver and release form really simple and fast for you and your parents to complete. Now, we've included your Reg ID in this newsletter, and you can also find your Reg ID on any of your 2024 camp statements. Uh, it is your responsibility to ensure that your parents have this Reg ID in order to complete their child's digital waiver and release form. Pro tip, listen, do not share the link to this form with parents until you are certain that you're not gonna change camp locations. Uh, these forms are tied to your camp location, so if you change camps, any form already completed will need to be completed again. Hey guys, it's Jacob here. I just wanted to let you know, we still have a few locations that need staff volunteer groups this summer. Now, staff volunteers is a great opportunity um, to come alongside our staff in all areas of camp, from recreation to production. Staff volunteers must have completed at least two years of high school and be accompanied by an adult chaperone throughout the entire week of camp. A staff volunteering is a great opportunity for your student leadership teams or any group of senior high students you have that are just as excited to serve the church as we are. We love partnering with local churches to make it happen, so check out the staff volunteer page on our website to find out more about staff volunteering with us this summer. Hey, if you're anything like us, this is a busy season, uh, and we wanna make camp prep as easy as possible so you can spend more time investing in your ministry. Uh, so let us know if we can do anything to help you this month, uh, and we will see you all at camp very, very soon.